So we're looking for a particle that we call the Higgs boson. And you can ask why we're doing that. And the main reason stems from really our probing the fundamental laws of the universe and the fundamental laws and forces and particles as we understand them are all described by a common set of formulae, uh, very similar in, in structure, that have some basic symmetries. And, and one of the consequences of all of these rules, without getting into great details that go beyond everyone's head, um, one, of the, one of the basic rules of these things is that the, things that the particles that carry forces should have no mass at all. And that's a very fundamental part of these rules. And what we discovered, just probing around and studying elementary particles, is that there are some forces, the weak nuclear force, which seems clearly to be carried by heavy particles. So how could this be? And so several theorists uh, in Europe uh, came up with an idea that would allow these particles to acquire for, uh, mass without really changing the rules. What they decided, to, what they realized was rather than changing the rules of the game, so to speak, you can imagine you, you can change the field on which we're playing. So they said the universe has a property that engenders the mass, not the equations themselves. The fundamental rules may be the same, but where the universe is in a state that has an effect on these particular particles. And this is uh, a breaking then of this fundamental symmetry that I mentioned. We call this electroweak symmetry breaking, which is a very complicated way of saying these formulae in our universe don't work the way they would. And the particles that are associated with the field that breaks the symmetry are called Higgs bosons. So what we're trying to do is produce them and study them. And the Higgs boson would if we were to discover it, would tell us that, yes, this theory is correct, and this is how the mass of these force carriers are generated. And this is really important because it's the first time anyone's ever tried to understand and been able to answer, potentially answer a question as to where mass comes from. And this is a very old question. It goes back 2,400 years to the Stoics. I think they were the first, at least in recorded history, to come up with an idea that something could be permeating the universe that gives substance to all things. And that was a very radical thinking uh, approach at the time. I think it's, a, it's pretty amazing that what we think is the truth is exactly that. That there's a field that permeates the entire universe and it gives mass to particles. Now what does that mean? Very quickly I can tell you that one of the things it means is that it slows particles down. Because if a particle has no mass at all, it has to travel at the speed of light. And so now you can see how fundamental this is. If you can give mass to particles, you can allow them to travel slower. And when, when particles can go slowly, they can form structure. And so in some sense, we're, we're really dealing with why we're here, why any of this exists.